a rally at a Medford Park this afternoon. Supporters of marijuana dispensaries trying to get pot legalized in your town. News News' Jessica DeNova has details in tonight's Weekend Top Story at 6. This is our right as Americans and our right as human beings. Southern Oregon Normal hosted a march to Alba Park and rally this afternoon. Our creator grew this plant for us and a corrupt government said we couldn't have it. After a bill to legalize marijuana use in Oregon for people 21 and older failed to pass last year. We feel if we would have had more financial support, we could have uh, passed legalization here. Lori Duckworth, executive director of Southern Oregon Normal, felt Global Marijuana March Day, which is occurring in 243 cities across the world, was the perfect time to bring awareness to new cannabis-related bills. The current legislation that's happening in Salem and Colorado and Washington's new to, um, legalization. Duckworth says out-of-state medical marijuana cards are now valid in Oregon and supporters are focusing their efforts on legalizing places to get the plant. In comes House Bill 3460 to legalize dispensaries in the state. With Representative Peter Buckley's support in sponsoring House Bill 3460 that finally after 14 years of having the medical marijuana law here in Oregon, we will be able to provide safe access to patients under the current OMMA. Supporters hope the bill is passed by the end of the legislative session in June to provide growers with compensation and the state with revenue. To collect the revenue that that would um, generate to the state of Oregon. Southern Oregon Normal is also backing HB 3370 to legalize marijuana in the state. Fight for what is right! But Duckworth says even if both bills pass, one battle will still remain. There will always be an issue of federal versus state law until uh, cannabis is removed from that scheduled one drug. Covering your news in Medford, Jessica Denova, News 10. Medford police was period periodically patrolling the event. The main goal to make sure no one was breaking the law by using marijuana during the event, as was the case two years ago.